hi welcome back to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of my next videos um so yeah welcome back uh if you've seen some of my former videos and if it's your first time here welcome to my channel my name is mia and this is my life my life with cleveland fail syndrome or kfs as it's called as well um, it's Sunday afternoon here. It's lovely weather outside. We've got blue skies and very little clouds. It's so, so nice. So I was outside yesterday. I got a little burn, so I'm keeping in today just to not burn more. Um, today I'm working on my diamond painting. Um, and I just want to show you what it's looked like. So I'm going to turn this thing around and show you it's called Freya's Tear and it is by Anne-Marie Silberman lots of people think it's by Gustav Klimt um, it is a 60 by 80 so it's a bit wide and a bit long to this little table um, but I really enjoy it and I love the colors I mean look at this look at those vibrant vibrant colors and look at those ABs. AB is Aurora Borealis. Um, you can see these these drills. They have this iridescent coating on top. So yeah, I really love this. And and the colors. I mean, it's not usually my color scheme. Usually I I like colorful diamond paintings. You know, I love colors, but. Even though this is more earth tones and, you know, I just love it. Um, yeah, I'm doing this diamond painting as a part of the event called Summer with the Masters 2022 or 2022 if you want. Um, and it's my first time doing an old Masters. Yeah. I really like this. I mean, look at how clear this symbol, this field is. I mean, and and the drills, they look beautiful. I mean, they look have a little trash, um, but it's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this around. <laughs> and over here, you can see my yarn. I'm a knitter too as well. So yeah. I have several hobbies. <laughs> um, I also do listen to audiobooks while I diamond paint, you know, to keep my head silent and focused. So, yeah. Um, other than show you my, my diamond painting, I think that I want to talk to you about something today. Um, and the reason I want to talk to you about it is because this morning when I woke up, I was... I was tired, you know, and not just tired, I was fatigued, and I don't know if you've ever tried to be so tired that you can just go back to bed and sleep for 18 hours. Um, I, I basically feel like that every day. Um, I, this morning I told David, my husband, you know, it's such a weird feeling going to bed and wake up more tired than than when you went to bed. I mean, most evenings when I go to bed, yeah, I'm, I'm tired and I'm ready to sleep. But then when I wake up in the morning, oh my God, I can barely get out of bed. I mean, I have to, I spend minutes to, you know, consider getting up. <laughs> just because I'm I'm so not ready. And then when I when I get up and we have breakfast and everything, you know, I have to to keep moving otherwise if I sit down, I just fall asleep. <laughs> because I'm, I'm I'm so tired. Um yeah. <laughs> and I shouldn't be laughing at it because fatigue is, is it's not funny, you know. Um but Again, as, as I said in my first video, 
I, I don't work with being sad, you know. Sometimes it's a lot better to just laugh at things, you know. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Usually I wake up um, late afternoon, early evening, and then and then I'm just, you know, ready to do anything. Um, but it's a bit late. <laughs> I mean, you you can't go out and do everything in the evening, at least not here in Denmark, and at least not in this tiny, tiny village. <laughs> I mean, we live in this small village. I think there's about 500 people living here all in all. So, And I love it here. We've been living here for about a year, year and a half. Um, and it feels like we've been living here all the time. Um But even though, you know, living in a nice place is good and everything, I mean, we've, we've moved out from, from the city that we lived in before. I mean, we moved two kilometers. Wow! But we're out in the, in the village now. And um, we have one car um, because it, it would be so stupid to have two cars out here because most of the time I'm, I'm home. And uh, David also bought a scooter um, because sometimes I need the car and then he still needs to go to work. And even and even so, the, the, the scooter is cheaper to drive than the car, especially with these gas prices right now. Um, but most of the time, you know, he, he's asked, sometimes he asks me, ask me, do you need the car tonight? And I was like, nope. I have no life. I, I'm I'm at home, um, and, and even though it's you know I say it in a good spirit, you know I am at home. You know, I mean I I don't remember. I don't know how much I do. Most nights I'm I'm here. Um, I do take walks and and I, I talk to people online, but most of the time I'm in our house. And it's not that I don't like people, you know, I'm I'm a bit introverted, I know that. Um, but but usually I say I'm a social introvert because I love talking to people. I just need my time as well. You know, I need my space and I need yeah, I need time to to recover from talking to people. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> but but I'm a social introvert and Sometimes I even like it better when, when I can talk to people online, you know, um, because then I don't have to leave my house. Uh, I, I heard somebody say, and I don't remember who, you know, why would I leave my house? All my stuff is here. And I love that. I mean, all my stuff is here. Why would I want to leave my house? <laughs> yeah, fun and jokes, you know, so... Oh my God, look at all those colors over here. I love it, I love it. Uh, yeah. Eventually, I think I'll have to show you some of the stuff that I needed. Today, or right at the moment, I usually knit for my, for my niece. She will be two in 14 days. Yeah. I mean, she's, she was just born. How can she be two already? Uh, you know, if you ever have a question, you are allowed to ask more than one. So if you have a question or questions, write them. Um, write me a comment down below and, and I will answer anything if you have questions. Sometimes I find it a little hard to know, you know, what, what should I tell you? Because I don't want this channel to be heavy. Um, yeah, I just don't. I want this to be educational, but but also not you know going to school like. Um, I mean, sometimes I'm I'm like I want to tell you all the stuff, but also I don't want it to be sad and and, and yeah. So sometimes I think I would prefer if you have questions about what it's like to to live with a chronically. Uh, Illness, disease, um, yeah. So, really, I just wanted to, to hop in and then say hello and 
do something because I, I didn't make a video this past days because I was out and about and doing stuff and tired. <laughs> so, yeah, I think this is it for today. Um, so don't forget, click the like button, make a comment, please subscribe and ring the, the bell if you want to be notified when I make new videos. Okay? So, until next time, bye!